it's just everything with you, isn't it, Shion? Like, I just fucking turned the game on, and it's immediately, like, the thing that I hate the most to hear from her. Good God. Okay. <laughs> it's so stupid with him. Oh my God, I love that. Welcome back to a sleepy, sleepy episode of Tales of Arise. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Alvin had a little bit of an accident. Actually, it was a group accident. Each one of my characters has the, uh, an eye, they're missing their left eye, so they had to get an eye patch for it. Alvin is the worst off for it because he has the fucking mask covering his face. Although, I guess he's been able to see through it, so maybe, maybe it's fine. I don't know. He was able to live with that thing on all the time. I mean, the only thing that gave him trouble with it was, like, eating food. But I guess he could see through it and breathe through it. Although, maybe this is a bad time to get into it, because, you know, this is like 40 seconds in so far, and I haven't even moved yet. But it seems like with the way, with where the mask is at, like, you see, see his nose is, like, poking out. Was his nose just, like, squished up against his face all this time? That'd be, like, super fucking uncomfortable. I, I mean, I already would feel bad for anyone having to wear the mask like that for a long time, but Alfin, you know, especially, because I guess it does other shit for him, too. It... Okay, geez, Shion. Yeah, yeah, how could it be a wasted trip following a fucking cat all the way into a fucking cave or into the back entrance of a quarry? Yeah. Also, one last thing I wanted to end off on was I'd seen that clip from the man in the iron mask, and I just wanted to say that, like, Alfin should look a lot more disgusting after having that mask on for however long he had it on. I guess it only been, like, about a year or something, wasn't it? Because didn't the old guy, his, like, I guess caretaker or, I don't know, <laughs> mentor... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, fuck, I forgot to give she <laughs> My plan was to give everybody the same eye patch. Whoops. Oh, hey. You know, for a martial artist, you sure, you sure do, wait, is that even a, what is up with that knife? It's got a weird fucking handle. I was gonna say, like, he doesn't even know how to use a, a knife. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Especially with you missing an eye and all. Oh, damn. Ah, what a fucking queen. I love her. Fucking cute. Oh, wait, are we actually fighting? Oh, hell yeah. She can materialize it. Isn't that a thing only the Renans can do? Shion, quick, say something. Okay, wow. No one's gonna say anything about that? That has, like, a lot of, like, you know, racial connotations to it, I guess. I don't know. Let's... Ah! Okay, this is accurate. Law was getting his ass beat by her. I actually do want to play as her once I get her in the party. I'm really curious. I want to see what it's like. I want to see what it's like to be a queen. Oh, you know what? Let's add some arts, because we have more than Eagle Dive. Now we have Glimmer Dragon. Yay, Law's a special little guy. <laughs> he can glimmer. Uh, that is, that's a move. That's like a keep them suspended in the air kind of combo. That is actually neat with this game, like with its new combat system. It actually has like fighting games. I think I've talked about this before, actually. Sorry, it's just been so long since I've done like consistent recordings of this game. But uh, yeah, it's like actually got like some fighting game mechanics to it in a way. Not like not to the extent of what people would probably want like out of a good fighting game but it's got like the basics of it you got i mean maybe not dodge you gotta say the dodging but that's a bad example but you know like s fucking staggering them putting them in the air combo stuff like that it's neat oh is she using tiger blade i thought that was a sword thing honest oh man that just reminded me of uh in tales of fantasia one thing that i thought was neat with that game was that um you could use more than just, uh, like, what your character's weapon would be. Like, uh, what's that? I don't even remember what the main character's name of that game is. But, no, he could use, uh, fucking swords, uh, axes. I don't know. He just had a variety. I, the main one I remember is, uh, like, a halberd using that. That was cool. But then you get, um, oh, what is it called? It's like Odin's... Oh, spears were another thing you could use, because I remember you get Odin's... Uh, spear or whatever and then uh, fairies are like you can't use that that's our weapon that or it's a unicorn i don't remember some spear is like uh, you're not allowed to use that and it's not even really a sp actually no is it a spirit i don't know it's been so long since i played fantasia oh hey uh yeah thank you Shion. i was gonna say like she just healed alfin and then she's like <laughs> leaving fucking law alone i mean it's fitting it seems like that's how they would act uh, in the party just like, ignoring law's pain 
He's like, ah, I'm really hurting Shion. Can you fix me? Hmm? What? Oh, sorry. I was busy healing Alfin. You know, he's actually someone I care about because uh, he's going to help me with my goals. What do you do? What can you promise me? Jeez, she is uh, unsurprisingly tanky. Oh, God. And she's going at it again. Maybe. Ah, ah, ow. Ah, ah. Ah, please, please stop. Tommy, mommy, no. She just beat the shit out of me. Okay, does somebody know a revive spell, or do I have to take care of this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, she can. There we go. Yeah, ooh, damn, Resurrect is really powerful as uh, a heal in this game. You know, besides bringing them back from death, I actually got full, like, HP from it. That's pretty cool. There's, it's very a thing. Like... Enemy boss enemies tend to have like a weakness. Does she have like some weakness I can be exploiting? Honestly, I should be. <laughs> oh my god, she fucking killed me again. Am I on like a different difficulty now? Holy, I can't even change it if I wanted to. There we go. There. I was wondering like this was not happening. I was like, why am I not getting any strikes on her besides you know being bad? Oh, was that it? Oh, we just. Oh, I guess it would be implied that we killed her otherwise. Uh huh. I guess they just wanted to show that, like, she's really strong. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, I mean... Uh. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It was my cat. My pet little kitty. He ran off after I beat the shit out of him. Hmm. Fucking points a goddamn gun at her face. I mean, does, does she actually? No, wait, who said, Are you serious? Oh, I like, why did Law say, Are you serious? Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, look at that cat. Yeah. Do you really call it a summon? Like, you summoned with a cat? Huh. One of the hardest things to believe is that they're fucking siblings. Unless, wait, were they adopted? Or is, I don't remember. I think they kind of, I don't know. They don't look too similar is all. Maybe I'm just looking at the hair. Their eyes are the same color, <laughs> at least. They got that much down. They both have the most generic eye type, brown. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> I forgot. I already forgot the stupid thing I had done. Mm-hmm. I just want to be like Alfin, and I just want to fit in with the group. Meanwhile, she owns the rebel. She's like, I wear horns because I'm a bitch, and I'm proud of it. Mm -hmm. Why is she? She doesn't seem like the dreamer type. Oh. Meanwhile, I hate the idea. How dare we fucking work with the Renans? Migal. Mm. It's like. Miguel is such a nice name to say. Just like, ah, oh, yes, Miguel. Like he's Eastern European. I don't know. I wonder where that name would come from. No, if I tried to assassinate him, I would have killed him. Hmm. And what's Rinwell? I can't believe you would assassinate uh, Dohilim, that Renan that I already showed mistrust for. Damn. I'm a cool male character. I wouldn't say bad words like hell. Oh no, I said it. He starts flogging himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess they are just like you know, brother, sister, like straight up, no weird strings attached. <laughs> Saying it like that makes it sound like a sexual thing. I mean, I don't know why, like, my, besides, no, this is about the sexual thing. This is about the hair color thing, where it's like, I don't know why I was like, they can't have two different hair colors. Mm hmm Yeah. Ah, Miguel's a cool dude. Yeah. Also, look at him. He is fucking built. He's got the body of, like, a fucking, well, the width of a barrel, but then the, like, the slimness of a, uh, I don't know. What's the, what's in between, like, an otter and, like, a bodybuilder? Because, yeah, this dude is jacked. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, nobody really knows how that whole process works. Except for everybody that beat this game already, I guess. Well. You forget Dark. Or are we just talking about Dana? Yep. Hmm. 
Was yeah, the that's the weird part. Actually, what's weird is that the result isn't sh like seen anywhere else. Or I guess, I don't know, maybe in Calaglia and Cislota. Cislodia? That's it, Cislodia. We haven't like gone and actually seen. It looks weird though, that's the main thing. It's just like he becomes glass or like transparent. He's not even really transparent, he just looks like he's a... Uh, oh yeah, metal. Yeah. I didn't realize they had thought it looked like metal. Hmm. That's one of the stupidest fucking things I've ever heard. If it was nothing, there would be nothing. Just a reminder of what was once there. Oh, so it's like if you... <laughs> it's like when you're in paint and you, like, erase and you make it a PNG and it's transparent. I get this. <laughs> once again, that'd just be... It'd be more accurate if you could actually see through it. Wait, did, do you say invisible? Do you say it's invisible to the naked eye? It's right there. You goof. Fucking dingus. Oh. Wait, no, I do care now. I'm sorry. I was giving you shit, but I guess you are still my brother. I'm tired of you always hassling me, sister. All you do is s uh, smother me. Oh my god, with the glasses and the beard. He could be, like, the most visually appealing, like, fucking incel neck... No, I wanted to say neck beard just to get the idea across, but, you know, he just looks like he he's a gamer. Ah. Uh. Ah. Helgen? Helgen burned down when the dragons attacked. This is the low-hanging fruit that I'm reaching for, just like this one here. It looks, it's actually shaped and textured like a nutsack. Actually, I'm worried to say that's textured like a nutsack. That's kind of prop, that looks like a really problematic to a nutsack. Not problematic, but it looks like there's something wrong with it. Not to imply that the nutsack is like saying things <laughs> that are going to get it canceled, that poor nutsack. Yeah, don't eat it. That's the easiest solution. Good, cause I I only ate like half my body weight. Uh, you didn't eat as much. I don't know. Oh. But, so. Well, but there's still, like, so many people in the city that would be, like, eating it. I don't know. Oh, hell yeah. That's hot. I got off on it. You know, to get on a more serious, less creepy note, <laughs> that guy, uh, Miguel does have a really fucking smooth-ass voice. God damn. And a very well-trimmed beard. I regret saying what I said before about him being a neckbeard. Also, her armor is very flexible. Uh -huh. I like how each of the nations has a fucking organization uh, that is has got like a fucking goofy name to it. Like the rebel organization in each one. Fucking Crimson... Wait, yeah, Crimson... Crimson Crows was in this, in this game, right? Yeah, Crimson Bro Butterflies was in Berseria, I believe. Yeah, and then the Silver Swords is, I guess, normal. I don't know, it's just ma most of them don't sound like they're underground, secretive organizations. Like, Silver Swords sounds like... Well, actually, they're the Monster Hunters in uh, Skyrim. Meow. Gold Dust Cats is like, why are you even called that? I get the cat, but what is the Gold Dust thing? I guess maybe it's just to do with the whole Earth realm in general. I don't know. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we're not commoners. We're heroes. All right, Alfin. Yeah. Are we bringing Miguel with us? Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. That fucking cat in the background. I feel like you're uh, trying to answer some questions you've been having about yourself, and I am not the person for that. You should really see a therapist. Yeah, piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. That is a downside. Why can't the Renans not be racist? Yes, because the light element is here on Dana. <laughs> that was also low hanging fruit. Yeah. Um, yeah, he and I are like actually best friends. 
I don't know about everything. Uh, Mikau with goofy fucking beliefs. All right, but whatever. Let's go have ourselves a secret meeting. Oh, nice to see you again, Kisara. Lagil, so you've been working with Miguel all along. You know each other, then? Yeah, you could say she and I go way back. Though I haven't seen her since we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Just what are you doing in your little gang, anyway? Exactly what Miguel told you. We're trying to uncover the truth of the conspiracy plaguing men in sea and those who have been caught in it. It's funny how life turns out, huh? We used to compete for Miguel's attention. Oh, mm. I don't like that. Only for us to get, for you to get picked up to join him in the guard. I used to really envy you for that, you fucking skank bitch. But ha, uh, how the tables have turned. Ha ha, now you're at odds with him and I'm the one who gets to help him out. Alright, is this really what you want to talk about with me? Like, I kind of always saw you as like a friend. I didn't know you were harboring such resentment for, towards me. Jeez. <laughs> now Finn here is just like, can can you explain visually what's going on? I am, I am blind. <laughs> just like that impassive face. Everyone has to grow up sometime, Legil. Maybe so, but that doesn't mean having to turn your back on who you used to be. You've changed, Kisar. I, I really haven't. I've done everything that I've ever felt like I was going to do. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my decisions. I heard about Miguel's plan to assassinate Lord Dohalim, though, how he ran when it failed. I searched for him to get answers, but he never showed his face to me. You'd figure if he wasn't guilty, he wouldn't have run away. Well, I mean, there's a couple reasons. But you're, like, captain of the guard. That could implicate you. And also, I don't know, maybe he didn't like you. Kisara. Jeez. Uh, but he did. It's because he's a coward. A coward who betrayed me and menaced him both. After all that, you expect me to just believe it's all so conspiracy and let bygones be bygones? Okay, now I feel bad. Settle down. Jeez. I understand how confused you must be and how doubtful of your brother, but we're doing all this precisely to keep that dream alive. Please trust us on this. I was starting this conversation off being a real bitch, and now I'm, I'm you know... I'm kind of feeling bad for you. Also, my eyes look really weird when they're closed. <laughs> it looks like, if it looks like Brock, but if his eyes were like, what's the word? I just, I guess just like 3D. Ah, uh, they're open again. It's just because her lashes are like a fucking bump on her face, uh, and it just it weirded me out. I don't know. You've seen what sort of shape Miguel's in. He won't say it, but time's running out for him. Can't you put your differences aside and talk to him again as siblings like you used to just this once? Hmm. No, I still remember the time he ate the last pudding we had in the fridge, and I'm kind of upset with him for that. I'm sorry, I've really talked your ears off, haven't I? It must be a lot to take in all at once. It's a good thing that I'm only taking this in auditorily and not with my eyes. Yeah, I think I'll take you up on that. Miguel! No one talks like that. Nobody at the end of a fucking conversation just says, uh, well, anybody's name. I don't know why I was going to say Miguel. Nobody says Miguel at the end of a conversation. Oh, we are low on cure points. Holy fuck. Well, let's see what this cat has to say. Meow. Yeah, cool. Would you like to stay the night? Heck yeah, brother. Brother, offer me a bed for me to lay my weary head upon. Brother, wait, Alfin, that's not sleep. That's outside. Oh, what a beautiful day that I cannot see. The air smells nice and crisp. Time to train my other senses so that I no longer have to rely on my eyes. He's like the guy from Kill a Kill who ripped his own eyes out and beat the shit out of people with a bamboo sword. This is where my other eye would be if it wasn't covered by a mask. Fucking Alfin. Well, that was the weirdest sign. <laughs> is it such a hard thing to do with like a facial animation for when somebody sighs to not have their mouth go like... <laughs> What? Yeah, no, I saw you doing weird things with your mouth, and it freaked me out. Mm -hmm. I never sleep. It's one of the weird things with my mask. Dude, I hate that. Waking up randomly, and you just can't go back to sleep. It's the fucking worse. Especially, well, actually, I don't know what I'm complaining about. I get to sleep in super late with uh, night shift work. It's great. Huh. I mean, I wouldn't be aware if it hurt, so why are you even asking? I guess he would notice if he, like, couldn't move it. Like, if it had swollen up, or if it was, like, broken or dislocated. <laughs> it's like, all this time, it's just been hanging limp and loose to the side, and he hasn't noticed it. That'd be great. Doesn't look like it's uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, what? The shoulder? Oh, okay. You already healed it. We only have 32 cure points left. Don't waste your time. Okay. Well, thank you. This is where, I think, the, this is like the part of the game where Shion stops being so abrasive 
which is kind of nice. But so, I don't know. It. I don't know. I was about to say some more stupid shit. How would you know? I guess it just moves better. Who knows? But um, what I was gonna say is like it is weird because like I was going to complain about her character progress or yeah, the character progression or like her character evolution where it's like she starts off being like a major bitch and then she starts acting like a normal human being. It's like. I don't know why I was gonna complain about that. Be like, uh, why is she acting normal now? That way I was complaining all this time. It's like, it's fine. If a character fucking evolves over time. That's called an arc. And she's probably the only one that's really going to have an arc now that I think about it. That, like, that is the case with this game. Like, the characters, they're not uninteresting, but like, there's not much arc going on with anyone besides, I guess, Shion. And even hers is, like, it's not, like, a great, super, like, enthralling arc. But, like, let's, let's talk... Well, I don't even want to talk about Alfin, because it's, like... Alfin is just starting from square one, because he has, like, no memories. His character arc is just going to be very generic, where it's, like, I am good guy. And then he gets memories back, and he's, like, oh, I am still good guy. And it's, like, okay, cool. Law is, like... He had interesting stuff at the beginning. I feel like his was like a fucking firework. It popped off in the beginning, and then it's just gonna kind of bleh, go the rest of the way. Like, it feels like what he went through, like, his character arc kind of just ended quickly. Because uh, it's like, he's a, a little twerp for, like, ten minutes. His dad dies, and he gets better. And she's about to just fucking zap this. I mean, he wouldn't notice if she even touched him. But yeah, like this one, this is like she's actually kind of growing as a person. Rinwell, maybe she'll have something going on. She's got like a lot of underlying issues. I think she's uh, she's like kind of cheerful, but she's got some fucked up shit going on. We'll see where she goes. Uh, Dolim actually has some shit going on, but I don't know. He, I guess he. I don't know. I've seen where it's like ends at the end of this chapter, but maybe it'll keep progressing with him. Kisara is also like, I don't know what's going to go on with her. Kisara might just be a bland character arc, too. Dohalim is like, he's kind of a fucked up person, but I guess he gets a little better. Uh, you're standing in the middle of the fucking field complaining about camping again, if I I bet. I bet as soon as I walk towards that campsite, you're going to say some stupid bullshit against Shion. Oh, hey. Oh. Miguel. <laughs> the three of them side by side is amazing. I need to change Xion to have an eye patch now. I, God, I hate what they did with the costume accessories in this game. It, more like what they didn't do. Like, they didn't include the fucking fun shit you could do with it in the previous games. It's like, that's like the main appeal, being able to fucking move all the pieces around. I love giving the characters stupid, like, cod pieces and everything. If I ever play Tales of Zestiria, I'll do what I did on that account and give everyone a giant fucking cod piece. Uh, to you or to the camp? I wasn't paying attention again. I'm sorry, Miguel. Oh, are we good? Oh, oh you know what? I bet we're going to have a... Yep, there is a fucking discussion. Uh-huh. All right, what are we going to do? Uh, but... Okay, no, never mind. I was confused at that at first. I was like, how would she be able to get the news if she was with them? They'd all be too far out. All right, now let's see what they're talking about. Miguel and Kisara. Mm -hmm. Do you have a better idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just imagine if we went through this entire arc of the story and we didn't have to actually fight. Wouldn't that be great? We could just kind of, like, talk and do other things besides combat. I mean, I know it's an RPG and it's, like, based off of, like, fighting groups of people, but, you know, it'd be kind of cool if maybe we could do more, like, dialogues with choices that matter or, like, other things. I don't know, maybe, like, a talking mini game. And Rinwell and Alfred just what the f what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I I just see things. Uh -huh. I was an only child in the sense that I didn't have brothers, sisters, moms, or dads. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rinwell, are you being racist again? Uh -huh. e I don't know. It's a nice place. That's what I've seen. I would live in Men Menencia. Honestly, I wish Calaglia had, like, 
I get the idea that like honestly maybe it was never even a place that had been settled to begin with but I wish there had been like a proper city in it I don't know. Instead of, like, the shitty mud huts that they have. God. I want... Oh. Zoo aren't so bad. Damn. You're gonna get killed by that bird. Oh, yeah, shit. There it goes. Oh, no. Mm hmm I could kill you with one punch, you little bastard. He's cute from what I remember. I don't know if maybe he's changed since I can't see or anything. Oh, she's a dog person. No, she's just, she can't touch any creatures, so I don't know. Oh, ow. Oh. She's so Sundari. Sundari characters have dropped off recently, haven't they? Actually, you know what? I'm saying that, but I haven't actually watched any animes recently. I know that Jobless Reincarnation, the red-haired girl, seems Sundari. It, I don't know. I want it to be that kind of thing where it's like, that's a fucking character archetype that will disappear because <laughs> uh, not disappear but just not be so prevalent but i don't think it's ever gonna f like go away for any kind of extended period of time it'd be amazing to see like a new type of character but I, is that even possible can people make a new type of character archetype i don't think that's a, i don't think that's physically possible i think we've mapped out all of the human personality types Actually, with that in mind, has there been a stupid anime that's in, had, like, all of the dairy archetypes in it? Like, it's just a harem anime that is a specifically... Oh, I knew she was gonna fucking say it. But is there a... Uh, is there an anime out there that actually, um... Like, is a harem with all the, those archetypes? Because I know there's, like, Kudere, which is, like, a co uh, cool attitude person. And then they have a lovely side... So obviously Sundere versus Yandere. I feel like that's got to have been an anime. And maybe it's not even, like, the type of thing that would warrant having... Like, I don't know. Does ever, it, Maybe that's, like, the case with all harem animes already, where it's, like, uh, there's, like, basically you could already group each character that way, where they're, like, some kind of dare. This is one of the most autistic things I think I've ever discussed. I want to talk with nobody. I want to talk with my sleep. This is like the night where everyone's like, I can't believe that Alfin didn't talk to me. He just went straight to bed. He didn't say anything. I, does he not like us? Is he upset? Is he sad about something? Alfin's just like, I'm just so tired of having to be a leader. I just want to rest. Oh, shit. Cutscene. What's up? Oh, you. How glad I am to see you and not that bitch Kisara. Uh, oh, uh, okay, Joe. Oh, man, jeez, uh, what's up? I have something to give that bitch Kisara, but she's a little hard to reach, if you know what I'm saying. She never just wants to, like, talk about things. She's such a bitch. If so, if you wouldn't mind, uh, uh, okay, um, you'd have to approach the palace to see her. That's your reasoning, right? No, I just don't want to see that bitch. Uh, okay, we'll make sure it gets to her somehow. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Make sure to hand her this note, too. It says that she's a bitch. Uh, okay, I... You know what? I'm not gonna step into this. This is you guys' problem. I'm just gonna go i'm gonna take this thing i'm gonna leave the letter right here with you and i'm gonna walk away bye prepare in the meantime i was really debating about actually reading those lines it's like no i think i i think i used the perfect censure right there i like running like this so goofy ah what do i have to do to get like to change um, the aspect of the game where I turn the animations up to like 500%, like that one video with uh, Heavy Rain, where they just like, or wait, no, it's either he it's either Heavy Rain or it's LA Noir, but every time they make like a facial expression, it's horrifying. You can see like their exposed gums and everything. I want that, and I want it for this game. It'd be great. Uh huh. Yes. Oh. Did, what? I thought we... Wasn't it kind of obvious we were going to meet you again? Jeez. Oh, well, we only got her halfway down. I think she could kick your ass, Law. You, actually, Law, you died like two times in that fight. Duh, no, I didn't. I was just laying on the ground recuperating my key. Because, you know, key is in the ground. I, I had to lay against it so it could really get in my body. Uh-huh. Okay, Law. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Because uh, your brother said he didn't like wearing a bracelet anymore. He felt like he, people were calling him a sissy. 
we were trying to tell him it's it's cool, man. You wear a I fucking I wear bracelets. I mean, not cool metal bracelets like he had. Oh shit, it's a Zephyr flashback. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> if only I'd been able to look him in the eyes and really get an idea if I could. God, I hope I get other costume accessories that'll be equally goofy. I mean, it was already like, I don't know, like sure putting goofy accessories on it was like a funny thing and trying to find goofiest the goofiest ones was always like a thing i tried to do but in every tales of game i never thought it was like truly worth it to go out of my way to like look into fucking the corners of every map to get like these items to make my characters look goofy it's more of a thing of like if i had it i took advantage of it I'd, I'd have to look up a wiki, too, for, like, what is the goofiest-looking item? Where do I find it? And then with this game, I don't even care, because I can't put it on someone's crotch. Oh, uh, I have to go back to the inn? Ugh, fine. I, it's been so fucking long since I... This game is so pretty. I'm so glad I'm back playing this. Honestly, one of the big things that, like, stopped me from trying to record this was I thought that, like, getting back into recording it was going to be difficult with it being longer format, but... Ah, oh, it's just so relaxing to play this game. I, any tale That's the thing with the Tales of series. Like, I forget that every time... It's always the thing where there's always, like, an intimidation to it where it's like, oh, man, I don't know if I do want to record, like, episode today. It'll be difficult. And then it's like, oh, no, this is, uh, this is actually cool, chill, and relaxing. Also, as soon as we go to fucking take our rest, this fucking cat appears. Oh, it's a gun! Cool! That'd be fucking great, seeing a cat running around with a gun attached. That is a big-ass letter. N the innkeeper doesn't think that's suspicious. Are you really saying this out loud in front of probably several people in the city that could turn us in? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to keep you guys in my inn. You're talking about things that sound kind of, uh, you know, seditionist. Sed 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 I don't even think sedition is the word I was supposed to be looking for. Hey, ho uh, okay, Google. Definition of sedition. Okay, sorry. I'm just. I have to not show. Conduct of speech. Oh, no, yeah, that is it. It's the speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. Wow. Okay. I wish, uh, you know, the, the O oh Google word uh, worked better so that, like. I wish there was just a way to, like, tell it like hey stop this is uh the end of the sentence i was trying for unless there is with like without touching it i mean like a vocal command can i like make my own vocal command with it just be like uh say the sentence and then go like ah and then that's it because like when else am i going to use that in like a sentence on google where i'm like hey give me the definition of it something like that wait what's my objective again what are we what are we doing head to the, oh <laughs> head to over to raisin quarry okay raisin quarry is also a very spooky sounding name like everything's gonna get raised to the ground there we gonna raise them down or you know they're gonna raise something i don't know raise children raise them i don't know it's a quarry though you're not raising anything you're like tearing shit down so well, i guess you could be <laughs> this is the stupidest fucking like tangent to go off on just building up piles of rock that was going to be my answer to that question why are we doing our petitions in the dank ass quarry and not the good type of dank oh don't worry we're cool heroes this guy was a would-be assassin don't mind him we're just here to have our chat with dolim uh. fuck you vizier he is a vizier right i never really confirmed that oh oh we're fighting hell yeah or is Miguel gonna say, yeah, okay, no, never mind, Dolim's got this shit. Damn, Dolim, you're so cool. I'm gonna change his outfit, though, once he's in the party. It's like, it's cool, I just don't like the pants. Oh, so you always knew he wasn't going to actually assassinate you. Why'd you let him get fucking arrested then? Hmm. Oh, I guess he was never... Huh. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, these are good friends. Yeah, show him your weird hand. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Hmm. This, my lord, pulls out a gun. It always comes back to pulling out a gun. Fuck you. What's your name again? Kez Kelzalik. Fuck you, Kelzalik. Hmm. Fucking racist Renan. Hmm. 
God, his pants are just too poofy, and they clip through each other. Like, if it was a robe, that would be the main thing, but they're just big old poofy pants. Oh. Uh, no, it's icky in there. That's where the slaves live. Is it? No. When was that ever established? Why would there be a medical facility in the goddamn quarry? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that, you know, if he decides to try and assassinate me, you know, I hope you have the mental fortitude to go and kill your own brother. Jesus. Alright, I think we actually get Kisara in the party, either at this point or just a little bit further. I think it is in this point, yeah, because we just go straight into the quarry. And, yeah, what part of this looks like a fucking medical facility? You fucking doofus. Dolim don't know shit. He is, like, a spoiled fucking brat at the end of the day. Although a cool one who can hit people really hard with a stick. I also, what is his ability? What's his special fucking skill? I know Kisara's is kind of like, it's, it's not, it's, it's got its use. It's just hard to use, I would say. Because it really, um, it's, to, it guards like against charging opponents. And other than that, it's like a stagger, which is useful, but, uh... It's the kind of thing where you have to really be paying attention to the enemies uh, to be like, oh, quick, I need to hit the button to get her to fucking block. Hell yeah. Ugh, I can't believe you said something nice about me. B -b -b baka What kind of dairy would she be? Oh, yeah, we befriended Kizar. Okay, I want to actually play as her. Uh, so let's see. She can trigger arts while shielding. Okay, that's cool. Oh, no, 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 I see. So there's some arts I could actually only use when she pulls her shield up. Uh, raises her morale, making any arts and leech while guarding and resulting combat stronger and harder to block. That's actually cool. Okay, yeah, no, let's switch. To, uh, let's hear about a guardsman's pride first, I guess. Whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, you beat the shit out of law, like, a lot. Uh-huh break their fucking weapons and hands against her fucking shield, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Man, I wish that was a, a job type. <laughs> Why can't that be something people could find on Indeed? Fuck you, Law. That's your style. Yeah. Yeah, Law. You let people die like you're dead. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, that's weird. Finally, we have a good balanced party composition of somebody that can fucking tank. I wish they were self-aware of that. Also, I like how they're having that kind of uh, light-hearted conversation. Then Miguel's just like, okay, enough talking about cool things. Now we're going to talk about really depressing, sad things. Yeah. Yeah. It was icky down here. Dohan Leem's just like, I have never experienced such a thing because I've always lived in a lap of luxury. Unless the Renans have their own fucking weird thing going on. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, there is some bad shit going on on their planet. Like, all of this is, uh, maybe like a desperation kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. They make those minimum wage checks. Ah uh, yes, thank you. Continue singing my praises. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just thought I would start off with a, uh, you know, start off strong with the sad shit. Kind of have a little bit of spice of uh, how things have gotten better, and then we're gonna go right back into the bad shit. Hmm. Yeah. Damn, it's fucked that they actually brought Kisara on this trip now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, wait, speaking of Kisara, let's get her in here. Oh, my God. It's like every two steps I run into a fucking cutscene. I've only got, like, what, nine, ten, uh, ten minutes here? Jeez. And now I think they're probably just living in here, like, you know, some kind of fucking uh, wild animal. Hmm. What laborers would you think this was? Some kind of medical facility? 
No, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, wade our way through all of these monsters just so I can show you guys some cool thing. Thanks. Thanks a lot. As you wish. <sighs> don't really use your regal authority. Tell him to fuck off. Oh my god, okay. I just want to do one combat with Kisara. Uh-huh. Yeah. Magic. Sure. They got teleports. It's cool. Why don't they ever use it for themselves? Maybe it's only for objects. I don't know. Uh-huh. Where is this device? What does it look like? Oh. I mean, I guess, thank you for the explanation. Honestly, all they really, the only reason they did that is so that they uh, wouldn't have to have her walking around with a big ass shield on her back, because then how would you look at her butt? Oh. Does her, wait, I never actually thought about this. When I'm buying like new equipment for Kisara, do I buy new shields? Because that'd actually be cool. I'd like to see, like look at new big ass shields. Ooh. Uh, I'm right here, guys. Uh. Renwo with your fucking racism. I'm still tr struggling to remember the word that I was t thinking about in the last episode. It's like, goddamn, what is it? It's not, like, innocently racist. What is it? Also, we're literally excluding Dolhalim from this conversation. Cool. Okay, if I have one more dialogue... Okay, cool. Let's go and fucking beat something up really quick. And then I guess I'll just end the episode. Oh, yeah, we got these two big guys. Are these... I guess we're supposed to actually fight... Ah, these guys. Okay, one more conversation. <sighs> oh, God. This thing sure hits hard when it charges at you. Uh, if only I could see it. Let me see if I can help. I'll drive it back with this great shield. It was a bargain. I got it for two ninety nine at the general store. Uh, cause let's see, yeah, but, yeah, no, it's just, oh, it, it raises the team's defense, too, that's cool. Uh, oh, and a boost rate, oh, with someone that's not in the party, yeah, 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 okay, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, fine, tutorial me, I guess. What are we doing, just doing, uh, do I need to wait for them to, like, charge at me? No, I just drop it, okay, cool. Let's see, I mean, I'm not surprised that she swings as slow as she does, but let's do another one of those. What are her skills? Okay, we got, I thought it Gusty Nail, so it's Flaming Meteor. Guardian field. That's a pa. Come on, let me just let me just do this for the team. There we go. Oh, it's a heal spell and a tank spell. Oh, that's cool. All right, yeah. Damn. So she's like a she's really supporty. I like that. All right, uh, boost attack. Yeah, her boost attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where like when they start running at me, I can stop them. Oh wait, did I, why did I use water snake wake? That's not a skill I have. The fuck. All right, whatever. Um. Oh. Oh, we just have to kill them now. Okay, cool. Yay, fuck you. Bop you with my shit. Wait, does she have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Whoa. I have never seen that one before. That was cool. I love these boost strikes. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. Actually, oh, Kisara doesn't dodge either. She holds her shield up. That's... Uh, I like that. That she's uh, unique. Oh, I missed the other boost strike. God damn it. Oh, and I put my shield up for nothing. No, I... I wanted to kill an Alfin and she on God. Oh, actually, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a bunch of her skills. I'm going to buy skills that make her as like tanky as possible. You know, I'm saying that, but I just remember that like all the skills I usually buy don't actually have anything to do with like what uh, I actually want to build them. I see it's always like it, the fucking critical damage, counter edge stuff, elemental attack. And it's like that's great and all, but I really want stuff that like helps build her how I like want to build her. Uh, I guess guard mobility is nice. What else can we get? I guess over limit, because I want her to go black. Recover? When sent oh. I guess that's not bad, but no, let's get action gauge stuff. Ooh, it's eating through my points real fast. Oh, well, let's keep doing it. Uh, I guess I should get some more arts, too. Where are all our arts? Damn, did she just not get... I guess she doesn't get very many arts. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. What else? What else should I get for her, then? Mid-air? Damn, she's like a fucking tank. She's not gonna be in the air. Um, damn, I don't know. I don't... Also, using skills of, like, benef that benefit from her being near death, like, the only time I've been near death recently was with Law. I don't know. Let's do this, I guess. Uh, can I get one more thing? Is there anything worth, like, 200? Nope. Alright, cool. Oh, 
I, oh, yeah, yeah, party. Yeah, I know, game. I know how to set my party. Nobody say anything, either. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Thank you, Shion, for knowing fine weapon material. Now, I figure we'll just end this with uh, the, 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 the classic. Give her the eye patch. Yeah, she's part of the crew now. She's one of us. She lost her eye in the war. Hell yeah. And yeah, on that note, this has been Gator Snapper Playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.